excellent. Our next task is gonna be working on the about page. And for the about page, what we see, we see that there will gonna be some kind of image on the left hand side. And then obviously there will gonna be some title. So as we're working with this section, we're in fact gonna create this title component because again, this is something we will gonna reuse. And then obviously once we make the screen size smaller, you'll be able to see that they're gonna stack one on top of each other. But okay, why don't we start building and then we obviously see what's happening. And for that, I will gonna cross the default. We're not gonna need this anymore. And then we will gonna make a little bit of changes. So as you can see right now, I do have my components. And you know what? Why don't I zoom in a little bit in this guy? Because that way we'll be able to see a little bit better. And then these would be the components that we're going to be using all throughout our project. However, there's going to be special components. Let's say this section for the about page, which I wouldn't want to place somewhere here within the pages, but I also wouldn't want to place with the rest of the components that we're going to be reusing globally. So again, this is just my preference where I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to say, all right, so there will going to be a folder by the name of about page and then all the sections, which of course, in this case is just going to be one, but we will going to be placing here. So everything that's going to be within the about page, apart from if it's some global component, will going to be stored in the about page folder. And that way I know that, okay, if I want to do something with an about page, I'm just going to be heading for this about page folder within the components. Again, this is just my preference. It doesn't mean that you need to do it that way, but I just prefer it that kind of uh, actual structure. So let me maybe make this smaller. I will going to create this as a RFC, meaning this will going to be my component, the functional base component. I will going to say hello from info. That will be my first step. Then I also, within the components, again, not within the belt page, but within the components, we're going to create a new file and we're going to call this title because, again, that will be component that we reuse at the moment as well. Just very simply, this will be our, this will be title component. Let's just write some kind of text. Let's save that. We would want to import this in the actual info.js. So title from and now obviously I need to do two dots because I'm going to be looking for the component that's outside. And let's say hello from info, as well as for now, let's just have the title. That will be our first step. And then what else? What else? Well, I would want to save the info. And I would want to import the info into the about page. So we're just going to go back, we're going to say all right, so we will going to be importing. So for that, why don't we start with info? from and now we need to start looking for the folder so i'm going to say all right so this will be in, in the components within the about page and then we're going to have the info that basically will be my setup uh, for the time being i will going to close the sidebar and why don't we start actually working with an about page because within the about page we still need to have the hero image and then we're going to be working on our info section so this is how we're going to do it so first and foremost there will be hero. So right after the info, we can do also import. And you know what, by the way, I can just right away open up the about. So this will be my hello from about page. Import, we're going to be importing hero image from, and then we're going to say, all right, so this will be obviously from the components. And then we're looking for the hero. Awesome. And then within the react fragment, we're right away going to have the hero. And that's going to be our first step. For the hero, we're also going to need an image. So import. Now the about image is going to be called about BCG. And again, this will going to be from our images folder. So not context. And you know what, by the way, I can zoom out a little bit, I think, uh, where we're going to be looking for the images. Then we're also going to be looking for uh, about BCG JPEG. That should do it. Then let's pass this in as a prop into the image. So I'm going to say about BCG. And you know what? I will not going to add any kind of title for the about, as well as I'm not going to have the max prop. So I can just close this out. And let's see. Yep. Now we have the image. Awesome. And then next, we're going to start working with an info. So I'm going to say, all right, so info section. And then we're just going to pass it here like this. And at the moment, we just have hello from info. And this will be our title component. 
And why don't we go ahead and right away start working on a title? And then we're gonna head over back to the info and finish everything that we're doing. And for the title, I would want to import styled components. So styled from, and we're gonna say, all right, so there will gonna be styled components. I will right away create a styled component. I'm gonna say that there will be title wrapper. So const title wrapper will be equal to the style. Then in this case, we will gonna set it as a div. And why don't we render right away? Why don't we say, okay, there will be title wrapper, title wrapper within the title. And there's also going to be the ending tag, of course. So title wrapper. And then within the title component, there's going to be two props that we're going to be passing. One is going to be title. So text that we're going to be placing. And the second one will be optional prop of centering. And let me show you why we would want to use that prop or maybe why I actually chose to use that prop. You see, at this point, the title is sitting here on the left hand side. However, there are going to be cases where, let's say, for the home page, I would want to reuse the same title component. However, I would want to have it in the center. And we already know how we can work with the props within our styled component. So that's the reason where we're going to be passing this as a prop. And we're going to say, okay, if there will going to be a center prop, there is something that we're going to do. If there won't going to be a center prop, then obviously our actions are going to be different. I will going to start with a wrapper where I'm just going to add the class name. And this class name is just going to be from the bootstrap as well as we're going to be placing a row. So that's again, just comes with the bootstrap. If you want some kind of column layouts, you always need to use this row class. And then let's add here this center prop. Let's say center prop will be received from the title. So I'm going to say that they will going to be equal. So let's see how this is going to work out. And then within the actual title, we will going to have to have our column again. This is just bootstrap. So there will be div. The div will have some class names and the class name will be column. And why don't we right away have the heading two, which will be our title. And again, we're going to have the bootstrap class name with text title. And let's say here that I will going to place the title. So whatever I'm going to have within the title prop. And last but not least, I would want to add the underline. So I'm going to say, all right, there will be div. The class name with will be title underline. And yeah, and there will be nothing inside the div. There's just going to be styling. At the moment, obviously, there's nothing within the title. So maybe if we want to see this, we would need to head over back to info because we're done with about page. And then within the info, why don't we pass the title prop that we just created? And I'm going to say about us. And obviously, the moment we're going to work with our centering prop, then I'm going to show you what happens if we had the prop. Because at the moment, we only see the title. Okay. 